Hey guys, today we're looking at a really cool dock solution from BenQ. It's called the BeCreatus DP1310 USB-C Hybrid Dock. And they sent this to me to try out for you guys. And I'm just gonna give you my honest opinions on this and let you know if I think this is for you. And so what is this thing? Well, it is a hub slash dock solution. What's cool is, is it allows you to connect three 4K displays via only one USB-C cable to one computer, which is really cool. And it allows you, with the push of this button right here, it allows you to switch between two different sources. So you can have a laptop or PC plugged in to one side of this, which goes into the USB-C in right here, and then you can connect a different computer, or you can connect a console or another PC to HDMI 2.1 in right here. And so this, this is a really cool solution that allows you to switch very quickly and seamlessly between two different sources. What I really, really love about this dock, which I haven't really seen out of any other docks I've tested or looked at, is this has 4K 120 hertz because it has HDMI 2.1 right here. It has 10 gigabit per second throughput as well. So two USB A's on the front, a USB C, a headphone jack. It has two USB A's on the back for a keyboard and a mouse. It has an Ethernet LAN port, another 10 gigabit um, USB A, and then it has a display port for one display. It has an HDMI for another display and then the HDMI 2.1 for a third display. So that is a lot packed into this little thing. And in the box you get a high speed HDMI 2.1 cable, you get the USB-C 10 gigabit certified USB-C cable and it comes with a power brick as well so you can have this thing adequately powered. So to get this thing booted up, the only thing you have to do is push this button for three seconds and it turns on and it's connected. Once you have the Display Link Manager software installed on your computer, it'll see all the displays. This USB-C port on the front gives 36 watts of charge. These two USB-A ports give 7.5 watts of charge. And the USB-C port on the back actually gives 100 watts of power delivery to your laptop, so that is pretty awesome. So right off the bat, the looks of this thing is pretty awesome. It's very well built and very professional and sophisticated looking. I really like the dark kind of charcoal matte color. I really enjoy the subtle design that is consistent throughout a lot of the BenQ products. I also love the nice deep emerald green hue of the button. It's really cool. The really funny thing though to me about this <laughs> design is this huge button on the front. The first time I opened it, I was like, do I turn this knob? I, I was really confused, but it's, it's just it's just a button and it's a very, actually a very satisfying button. Just listen to that. Don't touch it! It's the history eraser button, you fool! So what'll happen? The design continues on with just the way you can orient this. You can orient this just sitting on your desk in a horizontal position or in a vertical position and it's designed to work in either way which is really cool. The one thing you should know right away is that this is not a KVM switch. So when you have a keyboard and mouse connected to this, it's only going to work with with whatever computer is plugged into the USB-C port in the back. So like a laptop, you'll be able to put in clamshell mode and have a keyboard and mouse connected and then when you push the button it'll switch to the HDMI 2.1 right here to connect to either a gaming PC or a console of your choice. So that's something to keep in mind. So there are three ways I recommend using this awesome solution, but before I tell you about that, the one thing you make you have to make sure you do is install the software. This Display Link Manager software, and it's very important that you install that so that your computer is able to see all the multiple displays connected to the back of this unit. So my first recommended way to use this dock, which I think is pretty cool, is, is actually like a super dock for one computer. And as you can see here, I've got this connected to my Mac Pro. I was able to get three different displays connected to it. Even my old 30 inch Apple display was able to connect to this through all the different adapters I use. I've actually never been able to power this through a dock of any kind. 
So that is actually pretty awesome that I was able to plug in my old ancient 30 inch Apple display into this thing and get it to work even with this Alienware display and this smaller portable monitor. The second way I think this works really well as a great solution is to work as a dock for two different computers. And when you're using it, when you're using it in that way, just keep in mind that the USB-C in would go to something like a laptop, like a MacBook Pro, and would be able to drive all the displays that are connected to it on the back. And then when you switch it, when you push the button and it turns green, it'll connect to one display, that is the HDMI 2.1. So that is something to keep in mind that when you're switching between two, two different computers, this could be a good setup for like if you had a gaming PC that you wanted to utilize the 4K 120 hertz gaming display, and then at the push of the button, you're able to switch to your laptop and also utilize that gaming display on your laptop along with two other displays. The way to know which computer you're connected to is if it's blue, it's connected to the USB-C. If it's green, it's connected to the one HDMI 2.1 display. And the third way to use this awesome dock, which I think most of you will use it for, is between a gaming console and a computer for productivity. And so I don't have an Xbox or PlayStation, but I was able to connect this to my Nintendo Switch. You can be playing Mario Kart or whatever game you want, and then you can pause the game, push the button, go back to productivity tasks, knock out some more work, and then push the button again and jump back into your game. And so it just provides a very seamless transition and way to utilize all of your technology through one dock. So there's a couple of cons to this thing, and the first, of course, is that it's not a KVM switch. So just remember that when you're looking into this product. But the other one is, is if they could have just added a SD card slot on here, that would have made this probably one of the most versatile docks I've ever seen. To have an SD card slot on here would have opened it up even more for us, especially for us creators. But we're asking for a lot for this to be able to drive a 4K 120 hertz display and seamlessly switch between two completely different siloed computing environments is pretty awesome. As a dock solution, this is phenomenal. It is a great deal for what you get. The fact that you can drive a 4K 120 hertz display or an 8K 60 hertz display out of this thing, plus two 4K 60 hertz monitors simultaneously, so three displays is pretty awesome. And just being able to switch between them is a game changer in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today to check out this quick review of the BenQ DP1310 USB-C hybrid dock. I have my affiliate link down below if you decide to purchase this, it's just a quick simple way to support my channel. Thank you guys for watching this video to the end. If you can take a moment to subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you like today's content and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this doc and I'll be sure to answer it as soon as I can and I'll see all of you guys on my next video.